there is not a thousand percent increase in pleasure from your eyes right now i wasted money even though this was a gift ian corzine thank you very much for sending the gopro 11 we're both gonna find out aren't we if it was an upgrade or not all i want is the perfect camera all i want is the perfect camera so are you seeing a difference just look one of them's 10 bit the new one Bigger sensor, yeah, it's taller. Your mom's taller than me in bed. Damn it, I set the screen to turn off, you piece of shit. Why didn't I see that? So GoPro 11 on your right, GoPro 10 on your left. Right now we're in 10 bit, flat. We're both in flat, identical settings, 5.3K, 24P. Uh-huh, so is the dynamic range any better? now glad that screen went dark so i can't judge it myself till after in post-production so there better be an increase of everything it better look like i'm on a full frame sensor because it's bigger it's taller at least full frame sensors are tall okay what i'm seeing so far is almost identical image quality nothing improved color science potentially worse depending who's looking at it GoPro 10 had nice orangey glow, Canon colors almost. Now we're more of a reddish face. Something changed. Maybe not for the better. Okay, let's switch to natural color because it was unusable on the 10. Maybe it's different now on the 11. Okay, natural color on both. On the GoPro 10, I found when I turned this on, everything got cheap, disgusting, no dynamic range, over sharpened. Whereas you put it in flat and it was doable. Are we seeing the same thing now? It looks more contrasty on the screen. That could be a lie though. I've been lied to many times. Maybe never use natural profile ever unless you're dying on the street of thirst. Like it's bad. Just flat always, never natural. If we do an angry dad walking test for the stabilization, you piece of shit, where's the homework? You were supposed to make dinner too. Why is there chicken fries in the oven? They're not even cooked, you have to turn it on you, Timmy. Yeah, piece of shit, Timmy. First, I wouldn't mind just getting to my destination safe. was in 120p by mistake. Did the 240 frames per second improve at all? I'm hoping it did, but I just, I don't see a reason why it would. I wish we got like 480 frames in 1080p, but it's not there and that kind of hurts my soul, but I'm used to being hurt, aren't I? I'm not seeing any increase in the slow-mo capabilities, and that's kind of what GoPro does. They incrementally upgrade things, but not fully. Like, you can't do 10-bit in 4K 120p or 2.7K 240 frames. That hurts. That's like, it's always next generation will be able to do 4K 120p 10-bit. Oh my god. And then, like, GoPro 13 will have 480 frames in 8-bit. And then the GoPro 15 might do that in 10 bit. You could do it now, you know you could. Now who has the closer focusing distance? And then we'll move on from this bullshit. I think I've seen enough of what I need to know, 10 versus 11, and I wanna try a couple of things, your little tricks up your sleeve over there. Any better? This one wasn't in focus really, vlog distance even. You might need one of those macro filters just to get close enough. Is there any ton of Where's my one inch sensor, GoPro? A little background blur. Okay, now I remember. It was when you switched to 4K. 
things got so ugly. And is that still the case? Of course it is, because I also switched to vivid and sharpened from low to high. Oh, that's good. That's good enough for me. Over sharpened is actually a technique used in the Middle Ages to show appreciation for your ancestors. And I don't mind it one bit. I think it looks good. This is good. Most people prefer it in a blind test. This is what I'm used to seeing from GoPro reviewers. They just like random mode. GoPro knows what they're doing. They don't. So you have to go to 5.3K, even though like you would never want the increase in resolution. I'd rather have 1080p, but for some reason the 5.3K just looks better. It's like softer, dynamic range, better. Like everything about it is somewhat respectable, unlike this. Now, if your business is full body vertical vlogs, and it should be, I might have something for you. It's uh, people in the step counting industry prefer to see the steps. They don't really believe it. Oh, I walked 10,000 steps. Did you? Now you can count it. What the fuck was that beep? So this is GoPro's big thing now. We can shoot eight by seven and it's tall and it's weird and I'm dark is all I know for sure. I'm not sure that this is valid in today's world. And if it is, I don't want to be a part of this world. Future vlogging. I personally like this perspective of vlogging when you hold it with your right hand, but you're on the left side, it provides a unique experience that like you feel that you've been to Japan. And I, for one, I hate this. Okay, welcome back, Hero 10. Super view versus hyper view. That's just bad. It's like so wide and this is their sensor, 12 mil. And that's like, like why? This, I'm usually shooting in linear mode. Just put this into perspective. I crop into like here. You thought the sensor was small before. We're still dealing with like point and shoot size sensors and we crop in like 90% of it because this is what GoPro wants to give you. It's not right. I can't even get out of my own shot. There's no physical way I could leave my own life. The dimensions don't match up. It sees within itself. Within itself. Even the full stretch of my imagination. I feel like GoPro needs to go for a less extreme lens, not this 12 mil stuff. Maybe come out with two different versions, a vlogging version and then a hyper freak skateboarding version. Like ultra wide, like just give me like a normal 17 mil, 18. I hadn't even fully stretched the selfie stick and like GoPro thinks, you know what? People like wide angle lenses. It feels like you're a part of it. You you feel like you're 90 feet away from me. You're not even a part of my close circle of friends. What is this? Why does it exist? Leave me alone, GoPro. Why are you in my life? This is not good. There's nothing good about it. Where is it? Okay, let's test the hyperlapse and see, because it's higher resolution now, 5.3K. Will you see a difference? Because I, I feel like there's a lot of lies in this box. A lot of these old 2.7K, 240P. I think it's 720P, up -resed. Who is that? You're in my life. Mealy, they make lenses. No, that's Mikey. Oh man, you ripped them off. Oh, that's bad news. Oh no, there's two of them. Oh, help, help. You can probably see them both. It's so damn wide, it's too wide. Walking backwards, but I'm going forwards, but 
Sometimes I go sideways Or maybe in a spiral He's walking in a circle Where's he going? He'll end up in a park What a great day He's walking somewhere But that's okay. The real question is, can GoPro even compete with the DJI Action 1 of 1997? We have the 3 on the way. I'm going to go pick it up today, so we'll do a bunch of more shit like this. No one's going to watch it. I just talked myself out of the whole thing. Are we seeing anything better? Dynamic range? It might be a slight hint to the GoPro. So slight to not even be worth mentioning. Did the audio get worse or better? Who's trying to kill me now? A lot, a lot happening right now. That sounded like an electric car. Who cares? I feel like the DJI Action 1 holds up. It's not like you're not blown away by this GoPro footage. It's a little more soft and pleasing, if you will. But the colors actually, I think I prefer on the DJI. I can't wait to try the DJI Action 3. Dare I possess it already? Thanks to Aiden camera. I don't know how I managed to stay so disciplined for so long, but now. See, now you have basically a medium format camera versus tiny action cam. Pathetic. I prefer this little DJI in a lot of ways just because it's so much smaller and I can put a little clip. It's Ulanzi's fault for making a worse cage than small rig made with no side screws. So, Ulanzi, get your shit together and make a better cage so I can put a thing on it backpack clip it on the DJI I just snap it right in here with a little tripod hanging down under here and I can go do things with my hands and exist whereas this I'm carrying it like this if I go shopping right now which I plan to I gotta like put this on the counter okay I'll put it in the backpack now oh no there's an amazing thing happening good thing I missed it because I have no backpack clip so I'm gonna review the footage today and decide based on these results, whether or not to keep the 10 or the 11. I don't need both. I'm just saying. One is good. Keep your life simple. And the DJI, it's hard to get rid of that thing. They don't make it anymore and nobody's really beating it. It's still recording. Wow. I feel like the DJI Action 3 with its slightly bigger sensor and 10-bit in a future far off distant firmware that might happen. I think that might be the better buy, but I can't guarantee it. By the way, this horizon lock gimmick, how come it's not working on the screen? I'm upside down on the screen. I better not be. I better not be. It crops in quite a bit. What did I do wrong? How come I'm seeing this? I could have been so cool. Who's that? So GoPro well done at disappointing us all. We're waiting for new, bigger and better things and I'm worried that the loudest vehicle could ever be invented. I'm worried that your new processor, while nice, it's not gonna last. You're gonna add a bunch of shit like 4K 240p and then the glitches are gonna start coming back. That's a problem. That's a problem. So I'm done. We learned something. Who do you think won? GoPro 10 or 11 or DJ Action 1? That's the real truth. Subscribe. Buy them both. Buy all three through my affiliate links.